One of Facebook's earliest investors has labeled the social media giant's plans for a metaverse as dystopian meta, as Facebook is now known, is investing billions in the project. Meta's chief product officer Chris Cox told attendees at the Web Summit in Lisbon that the idea would make the internet less flat. He said it would be considerably better than video conferencing as a space for meetings, however, speaking at the same event, Mr. McNamee was highly skeptical. Facebook should not be allowed to create a dystopian metaverse, he said, the term metaverse was coined in the 1990s in a science fiction novel Snow Crash, where it served as a virtual reality successor to the internet. Mr. McNamee became a critic of Facebook as he began to see more misinformation on the platform. He said he was not convinced the metaverse would be safe in chief executive Mark Zuckerberg's hands. There's no way that a regulator or policymaker should be allowing Facebook to operate there or get into cryptocurrencies, he said. Facebook should have lost the right to make its own choices. A regulator should be there giving pre-approval for everything they do. The amount of harm they've done is incalculable. Mr. Cox, speaking for Meta, put forward a different view that the metaverse idea is the next step for the internet as a whole, not just for his company. Technology often starts in lower resolutions versions of what it becomes he said. Feedback from Meta's Oculus virtual reality headset users was that the technology, which was improving all the time, could be incredibly fun. Mr. Cox told Nicholas Carlson, editor-in-chief of news publication Insider, that his own dabbling in the metaverse included hosting meetings and entertainment for staff. He said he and his wife had watched a comedy show with Facebook employees in which everyone appeared as avatars, 20 of us in the room, co-workers all laughing together. That same technology was a good alternative to video calls, he argued. Everyone is exhausted by video conferencing. You don't know who is looking at who, everyone is constantly interrupting each other. Meetings in the metaverse would be far better, he said, with Meta working on how to improve spatial audio and body language in virtual reality. When asked why anyone would want to meet in virtual reality, he said, it will not replace real life, nothing should and I don't want to design something that does. He acknowledged that no one company, such as Meta, would own the metaverse, pointing to Roblox as an example. Roblox, a user-generated gaming platform valued at $30 billion and with 37 million users around the globe, has its own plans for the metaverse. Chief executive David Basucki has for several years been outlining his vision of it as a digital place where people play, work or learn with millions of 3D experiences. So we are ushering in the metaverse, and we feel it needs to be a place that everyone can access, a place where people can express themselves and connect together. We'd been building around this vision for a long time. We're excited that more people are coming it to validate that notion. Mr. Cox was asked whether the metaverse, which Mr. Carlson described as a cartoon world, was something that the tech giant should control. He said that there would need to be a set of standards and a set of protocols along with public discourse about how to keep the space safe. He added that Mr. Zuckerberg was committed to safety, something he said the company had been working on for over a decade. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.